What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here today guys. I'm here to discuss iOS 5.1.1. So as of yesterday or two days ago, uh, Apple announced iOS 5.1.1. Now this wasn't obviously a huge major announcement or update from Apple. Basically if you have an iPod Touch, an iPhone, or an iPad, you would be getting this software update. Now obviously the version before 5.1.1 was 5.1. Most of you uh, probably already have that version, but if you haven't updated to uh, 5.1.1 yet, it is now out, and uh, the easiest way to actually download iOS 5.1.1 is by going to Settings, General, Software Update, and there you'll be able to see uh, if you have a software update available or not. Obviously, it'll be it'll say iOS 5.1.1, but today I want to discuss the changes in iOS 5.1.1, and uh, a little tip for you jailbreakers at the end, so stay tuned. Uh, till the end of that if you are a jailbreaker because I want you guys to listen up well. So there aren't really any major updates in iOS 5.1.1. If you're looking for some changes with the home screen or icon updates or new wallpapers or something, I don't even know. Uh, there is nothing major. It's basically just some security issues. That's why it didn't get a title like iOS 5.2. Just a couple minor security issues which is actually big to us. And I'll explain to you why in a little bit. Um, but just some security fixes. Uh, and then there's some bug issues fixed here and there. I've noticed that my iPhone is a little bit snappier with Safari, so it could be that maybe there are some Safari fixes. Maybe it's just for me. Maybe my internet connection is all of a sudden better. And, of course, Apple, as always, is trying to fix the battery uh, issues as well. Um, and I recommend uh, for you battery users out there with your iPhone 4S, definitely keep Wi-Fi off. I've been doing that for quite some time now with 5.1 and 5.1.1, and I've noticed a huge battery difference. Instead of, like, coming out of school with like 60% because I connect to the school's Wi-Fi it's like I shut off the Wi-Fi and it like I save so much more battery so if you're on 5.1 or 5.1.1 definitely don't connect to Wi-Fi for a long period of time I mean I'm in school for eight hours so it's gonna be long as always with my new iOS update videos there will be a download link in the description that you can actually click to get the new version of iOS 5.1.1 you can just go and click it uh, there you'll be brought up a list of all the versions available for you, the iPhones, the iPod Touches, and the iPads, and you'll be able to see uh, all the versions right there. So definitely be sure to check out that list. Again, the link is below in the description. Now let's talk about the jailbreaking part of this. If you are a jailbreaker and you don't have any reason to update to 5.1.1 unless your device is really screwed up, um, then do not update to iOS 5.1.1. Uh, for you, those of you jailbreakers and most of the iOS community out there, you are not missing out on anything. There are no f new features at all, just a couple security updates and uh, minor uh, glitch patches here and there. But the security updates, mainly what I mean by that is the exploits that Apple are patching for future jailbreaks. What I mean by this is, whatever the dev team is at work on now with the jailbreaks are all garbage now, especially if you update to iOS 5.1.1. So if you're looking to jailbreak your device in the future, let's say your iPhone, your iPod Touch, or even your iPad, do not update to 5.1.1 because that will ruin your chances of jailbreaking. And since it's only been out for a day or two, obviously the dev team has had no access to the firmware, uh, probably for hacking reasons. I mean, not hacking, probably like for... I mean, I don't know. There's no really point because obviously we know that Apple is going to release another version and soon to be iOS 6 as well. Yes, that's coming soon too. I'll do that in another video, but there really is no point. So if you can stay on 5.1, that would be great. There is no difference at all between 5.1 and 5.1.1. Again, just some glitches. If you're having serious glitches with your iOS device, then maybe the update is right for you, but there aren't many updates at all except for these security, really jailbreak fixes, patches, and uh, some glitch fixes here and there. So if you're a jailbreaker and wanting a jailbreak, do not update. But otherwise, from that, guys, just click the link in the description if you do want to get 5.1.1 and stay up to date. Of course, you know, if you do have glitches again with your device, you can fix them by clicking the link in the description below because I've noticed a lot of people saying that iOS 5.1.1 actually does fix some glitches. And again, if you're on an iPhone 4 I'm sure it also does tweak up the battery a bit, as Apple now does in every iOS version that try to improve the battery. Uh, from time to time in every new version. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button up top. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.